Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? I believe it's March 4th. Yep, it is March 4th, 2021, in the Big Bear Lake, California area. This is the aftermath of our snowstorm yesterday. What snowstorm, right? <laughs> That's what it looks like. What snowstorm are we referring to, folks? <laughs> Doesn't look like, oh man, oh man. It don't look like much. It doesn't look like anything, you guys. Oh, here's a little. Look, this is definitely from yesterday right there on the side. That's a little bit from yesterday. Hey, hey, hey right on, guys. We are stoked. Go make a snow angel on that stuff over there, guys. That was huge. My sarcasm is very palpable right now. But anyway, we got to make a quick stop at Strader. Strader Brothers. Stater Brothers. They're brothers and they're Stater. So yeah, it's 50 degrees right now. Just a beautiful day. And a few of you were mentioning in the comments yesterday that there's some, some big storms coming. Um, I did so much research, you guys, and um, I'm not saying you're wrong. Not at all. Don't think that. I'm just saying you're wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. There's two days of snow next week on my birthday also, March 10th, March 9th and March 10th. Um, and it's not looking like anything more than one to three inches. So I don't know what some people are looking at. Um, if you guys could please let me know. I'm not being a smart ass when I say that. Like, oh, I don't know what they're looking at. <laughs> God, what an idiot. What an idiot. God. Gosh. So, yeah, it's not that at all. I just want to know where you guys are getting your information. Um, is there, like, a like a big bear in the Arctic or something? Like, I, I don't know. But I got really excited after responding to all those comments to get home to sit down and do a little research. And the excitement died quickly. It made me very sad. But yeah, we're gonna stay. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me with this spot here, dude? Oops. Yep. Take your time, sir. It's all good. I'm in no hurry. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That guy looks familiar too. All right, peace out, folks. You know what? I'll take you guys on the journey with me to the ATM machine. It's a beautiful day today. Okay. Set this up right here for a sec, you guys. All right, guys, hope you guys are doing good today. I'm a little bit bummed we don't have much snow, but we're just gonna do a quick drive around the lake the opposite way. All right, you guys, let's make like Tom and Cruz. We're out of here. Hey. Oh, pretty good. Thank you. How are you? Oh, good. Can't stand that when you say hi to somebody, they just ignore you. Just irritating.
But anyway, we're off like a prom dress, folks. We're going to go around the lake. So hang on. Bear with moi. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, but I've got like the best police scanner right there. Uh, a thing that's got police sirens and a PA system. And then a CB radio. And I don't know how to use any of them. But anyway, hang on, folks. All right, you guys. So yeah, this is kind of an unfortunate drive, but it is what it is. Not much snow. And as I said before we uh, went into to Stater Brothers, you guys, unfortunately, we don't have much in the way of snow coming. As I said, for those of you who who are seeing something way different than I am, because I'm, I responded to the excitement from you guys about a ton of snow coming in a week. So I was really excited. And then it was just like, um, it was like a bad Viagra pill, right? Like I was excited. And then like the excitement went, Bleh. no excitement anymore. Very sad. Sorry about that analogy. That was not the best analogy. I just couldn't think of, of something better at the moment, but I'm really sorry, you guys. I'm, gosh, I'm such a pain in the butt. I really am. I'm a rude, crude dude who's a bit shrewd, who's always in a good mood, except for when he's not. Now let's make this light, huh? How does that sound? I think it sounds good. I think it sounds right. I think it sounds good. Great, 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 Google, great, great, Google, great, great, great. It's a great time. snow from yesterday look at that you guys go go make a snow ant with all that snow okay let's take a look at the ski resorts from over oh man you guys just beautiful So now it's 49 degrees. I don't know if you can see. 49 degrees, 50 miles till empty. I forgot to get gas. We need to get gas. So we're 
North Shore, you guys. Hang on a second. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to turn the phone off and answer a call real quick. But yeah, we are we are entering the fawn skin area. And so these big piles you'll see, this is from the previous snowstorms. That's from the snow plows, just uh, piling everything up on the sides. So you get the accumulation of that stuff and then it just it just melts and freezes, melts and freezes. So it turns into just a, just a big iceberg. Therefore, it takes a long time for it to, to completely fizzle away, melt away. God, that's beautiful, man. Oh. And yesterday we did this drive the other direction. So this, this should be a much different, better view, or not a better view, just a different perspective for you guys. Look at San Gorgonio, it's that mountain in the background there. It's the tallest mountain in Southern California. The tallest peak at 11,000, I think, 550 feet or something like that. Mount San Gorgonio. Sorry about that, guys. I had to take another phone call. If I don't take these phone calls, then uh, as much as your guys' help helps, it still wouldn't get me get get me by. I need to work like more than full full time hours to be able to do the things that I do, and I'm happy to do that, you guys. You know, and the fact that you guys help me out and send me money every once in a while and stuff, like, dude, it's humongous for me. It's huge. It's it's like. It's like a job where if you got tips, it would be perfect. And basically you guys are like my tips. So it's absolutely perfect. And the fact that I put in so much time and energy, um, like it's eventually gonna pay off in terms of like paying off. <laughs> so thank you guys for all the love and support you guys show me all the time. And uh, I'm, I'm always happy to do this stuff for you guys, man, because doing it for me brings me sanity in a otherwise insane environment which is my head so uh thank you guys for being such just loving creatures of of this earth and i love you guys so much i love you you love me we're a happy family that's a horrible popeye Blow me down, Olive. <laughs> that was horrible. That's like a homeless Popeye. <laughs> that was mean. I'm sorry, Popeye. I didn't mean to call you, call you, the, call you that name, yo. I mean, what's up, huh? I mean, what's up, yeah? We're in fawn skin. Let's say hi to Linda, everybody. Hi, Linda. We just yelled out the window to say hi, Linda. Let's say hi, Linda, over here. Hi, Linda! Linda is a friend of ours, guys. I hope she heard us. I know she probably didn't, but if she did, wouldn't that be funny if she, like, <laughs> she, if all of a sudden we hear, hey, Nick! <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be funny then. Jeez, you guys. So serious. Always so freaking serious. And it's, uh, don't do it, man. Don't do it, man. Don't do it, man. Hey, man, don't do it. doesn't get much snow melt um, because of these hills they don't they don't get too much sunlight during the daytime but look it looks like a lot of snow doesn't it but it's really not oh and the view the view
imagine living in one of these houses having that view. Look at that. And these are tiny little houses, man. But when I say that in my mind, I'm like thinking, geez, I could afford that probably. But I probably couldn't. Because these places right on the lake, gosh, man, probably like charge like three times the amount for your rent. Look at this guy, huh? Look at this guy, huh? What you doing, huh? What you doing with, what you doing, huh? Okay, I'm just gonna have to take a view of the lake this whole time, guys, and this is just beautiful. and solid and I can't even lit, open my fingers around my phone now <laughs> so this is the part of town that gets the most snow folks this is the Big Bear Dam area right here okay this is the dam dam and once again these hills right here don't see much sunlight so they don't get much snow melt they're always in the shade and then over there that's Snow Valley Ski Resort in Running Springs I don't know if you guys can see from here but there it is and then if you turn right, this is the little Arctic Circle, folks. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, let's just take a nice look at uh, some of the snow up there. As I said, this is where you get the most snow in town, either right here or the ski resorts. Well, not or, this and the ski resorts. And we got a bunch of people leaving town. I'm very sad to see that. I wish you guys were staying and enjoying it, spending some money up in this bee up in this b what's up dog okay let's go let's go yo yeah yeah boy
Okay, and this is one of the uh, hiking spots. I can't remember what, it, I don't know why I can't remember what it's called. It's one of the most popular ones up here. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry about that. I am so sorry, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Anyway, further we go this way, the less snow you'll see on the right. Watch, at the left. It's just gonna get less and less until there's none. You'll see, and it's very sad. Very sad to have to present this to you guys. I'm sad. I'm sad. The only one that ever sad. I am sad in every single way. right there that's sad that's unfortunate there's a bunch of broken glass in the road man i hate seeing that you guys come up here for a fun time and then something like that happens i hope it wasn't one of you guys man hope it wasn't one of you guys it's the last thing i want is for you guys to come up here and have to go through that temperature has really gone up a lot look at this 53 guys and you see less and less snow the further we go hang on guys okay guys we are about to start heading heading off again I had to take that call oh man right when I wanted to go we started getting all this traffic coming oh boy oh boy Time. Like wrong time to go. Two more cars and we're good. We're golden. Like the golden child. You guys remember that movie, The Golden Child with Eddie Murphy back in the day? That was just a, I was a little kid and this just a, was a weird movie. When you're a little kid and you're not, you know, you're not used to much on this planet, <laughs> you know, seeing a movie like that when you don't have much knowledge of anything kind of was really weird for me as a little one. I still remember it. I have a terrific memory of when I was a little one, but my short-term memory sucks. My long-term memory is phenomenal. 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 Anyway, here's the bobsled place, guys. I love this little ride, and it's open. You guys should come cruise on it today. It's so much fun. Oh, my gosh. It's so much fun. It is so much fun. In
I was gonna go through the village. Yeah, we're still gonna go through. We're still gonna go through. All right, so yeah, there's very little snow left, unfortunately. You guys can go play in that right there. That looks like fun. It looks like a lot of fun. Like the most fun in the whole world right there. Oh, hello. Do the carpets match the drapes? Okay guys, we've stayed here, we recorded it. We stayed in the biggest room they offer. I hope you guys end up staying there too. I might stay here again just to stay here again. It was fun. And then this place, we gotta stay here. But yeah, we are in the village now. And let's see here. I think we're gonna go through the whole village. The whole village. Village. It's the villaggio. We're going through the whole villaggio. Dookie booty, dookie booty, dookie booty, dookie booty, dookie. Booty, dookie. Booty, dookie. Booty, dookie. Booty, dookie booty, dookie booty, dookie booty, dookie booty. Dookie. Booty, dookie. Booty. Come on, buddy. Come on, you beast. You beast. Come on, you beast. Alright. Then, you guys, we gotta come up here to this crave place and we need to eat here. I'm telling you. It's a good place. Huh? All right, so we turned around because we got a call to go this direction. So we're gonna go this direction. I'm not gonna keep it on too long, even though we didn't go this way earlier today. So this is still different. It's a, it's kind of a misdirection, folks. <laughs> but yeah, you get to see the whole area, front and back, and side to side, just to see what we got going down up in this B. shut it off for right now so we're not too redundant as I said it's a different direction but I don't want to irk you guys and, and anyways I like having the camera on because it feels like you guys are with me and I hope you guys feel the same way because it's a really great feeling you guys are so loving I love you guys so much thank you so anyway I'm shutting you off for a moment all right guys sorry about that we had to make a stop at Lakeview Market and then we're gonna have to follow these guys who are driving so fast it's ridiculous it's ridiculous! <laughs> uh, we're not playing these games no more, huh? Okay, so we just did this part of the drive, so I'm gonna shut it off, hang on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and my children out there who like to watch the show. The show, what am I talking about? The show, the show. Oh, screwed that one up, hang on. So 
it is Wednesday, <coughs> March 4th, <coughs> 2021. I can't believe I'm going to be having a birthday in six days. I'm so excited, kind of. I'm excited because you guys love me so much, and it's going to be an awesome birthday because I know I'll get a bunch of comments and stuff, so that's just... Uh, means so much to me you guys you guys mean so much to me all the joking aside you guys mean so much to me thank you I'm dying here I'm dying here I'm dying I'm dying I'm dying I'm dying shopping centers right here. You have a pet store over there and Bonds and DIY and then right here you have Stater Brothers and other shops. Jersey Mike's, Verizon Wireless, our Charter Spectrum store. Just all the good stuff, huh? I kind of pull over halfway on the line because cars behind you here, like they don't, they don't understand how to drive up here. They'll like from behind you here, pull on this side and go to the left when everyone's waiting to turn in here legally like this, boom, just like that. But then they will come back from like a quarter mile back and just really irk me. I don't know why I let stupid things like that get to me, but I do sometimes. Oh yeah. So yeah guys, this is very unfortunate, but hey, how are you guys doing though? Are you guys good? Are you guys doing well? Are you guys healthy? Are you guys making money? Are you guys just kicking ass and taking names? What's going on? What's going on? Are you guys hurt, depressed, bummed out? What's going on with you guys, man? Remember, we're here for each other. And I have finally begun to realize that you guys really give a huge care about me and I'm never gonna let you guys down. The people who show me love the way you guys have will always in return get so much back from me in terms of how I show you love and, and, and whatnot. So thank you guys. And here's Stanfield cut off again. We're gonna do one more view of it. So we're going to just do a little North Shore drive into Big Bear City and then we'll come back around going through Moon Ridge to go home and that'll be it for the video. But I just wanted you guys to get a good sense of everywhere in town for the most part. We're not going to go further east, southeast because it's not necessary at the moment. This video is already long enough and uh, once again, I know they are long sometimes but just cruising around with you guys and just having the record button on right now like it is, it's, it's guys, it's, it's weird. As soon as I hit the record button, it feels like you're right here with me. I, I just, I just don't get it. It's such a beautiful thing. It's such a beautiful thing. So, um, and I really hope that when I hit the record button and you guys are watching that you guys feel like you're here with me. Like I, I want you guys to feel like you're right here talking to me and you, you know what I'm saying? Like that would, that means a lot to me. Like, uh, Having you guys here with me is so huge for me. It makes me feel so good inside. It makes me feel accomplished. It makes me feel appreciated. It makes me feel like I'm not alone. See, I'm the type of person, you guys, I can be in the middle of a room with hundreds of people, in the very middle of the room with, a hundred, with hundreds of people, and feel so alone. So anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So beautiful today, guys. Oh my goodness.
goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Oh, my baby. Mm. seen in a long time if she's outside we might stop by just to say hi she's so sweet her family's been up here for like 90 years you guys so they've been here for a long time hang on a second just uh all right see. we're turning in to see my friend So yeah, I did pull up and she was outside as I said and so I wanted to stop by and say hi to Tammy. We haven't seen Tammy in a while. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is our one of our best friends, Tammy, you guys. And Tammy's family has been up here for ever. I told them about 90 years or something. Or like um, your whole fan like uh since sixth grade, I'm fifty, so Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so quite a few years. I I didn't mean to say she's ninety, guys. I thought your family had been up here yeah. that long. Okay, so she's she's been up here a long, long time. She's a, a an entrenched local. I love her to death. She has treated me so well. And she's made me feel so good up here, you guys. This is a good, good, this good, good, good lady. This is a good guy. Oh. He's a good guy. Absolutely a good guy. <laughs> you guys didn't see me pay her to say that, did you? No. <laughs> he sure didn't, because I love this guy. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing, Tammy. Great to see you, as always. Nice to see you, I love you, you and, uh, um, yeah, just... Uh, keep on fighting the fight and uh, this is a strong lady you guys tough 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 sob and uh um i support all the people that fight for themselves that just don't expect other people to do everything for them if you fight for yourself i will help you fight if you yep. need my help yep and she helps Absolutely. me with everything i need so she's an angel i love you tammy i love you too keep doing what you're doing keep doing what you're doing <laughs> keep doing what you're doing <laughs> bye tam <laughs> See, this is awesome people. Like, like these are the people that I have around me up here. Just wonderful, loving, big-hearted people. So anyway, we are on our way back to the homestead. I was going to go down to the end down here, but since she was outside, that took a little bit of our time. I honestly didn't think she was going to be outside, and she was when I pulled up, so that's pretty cool. Because I don't like imposing on other people, just showing up without knocking or anything like that. That's just rude in my eyes. Um, so I don't, I choose not to do that. I like to announce my my arrival, but uh, in that case, she was outside. So I didn't find it to be that rude. I hope you guys agree. So yeah, this is that nicotine thing. Oh wait, do I have any more? Yes, I do. I have more with me. It's this little nicotine thing. It's just nicotine. Nothing special, but it makes my upper lip look like I got punched in the upper lip. All right, we're on Division Road. And this is, oh, this is the airport, guys. Look at this. We're right on the runway. There's a chopper in the middle of the runway. See him? Let's see if we can zoom in and see him. There's no one behind me. And this is the other side. Hey! Hey now, you're an all-star. Hey, only shooting star. Okay, hang tight, guys. Thank you guys for being patient right there. I had to shove a dip in my mouth. A dip, like the chewing tobacco. It's, it's not tobacco, so the nicotine. I'm used to calling it dip. That's what we uh, people who chew tobacco call it, dip. Um, so I just had to put a dip in my mouth. <laughs> if you're not listening properly, you probably like double take. Like, what did he just say? <laughs> Wasn't funny. Can't believe you guys are laughing at my expense. Not funny. Not funny at all. Not the funny at all, folks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. 
How dare I do that? Okay, but I did. Anyway, we're going back to upload this video so you guys can see how little snow there is. We are in, we are entering the Moon Ridge area from the back right now. So we have entered Moon Ridge now. And you can see the very little bit of snow that remains here. There's little snow that remains here. It's a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I I don't know where the hell I came from, but I, uh, I I'm cracking myself up just a little bit here. Watch out, chipmunk. That chipmunk just barely got out of the way of that truck. Dave? I could hear him yelling Dave. And he was yelling for Alvin and Simon. I think that, well, that had to have been Theodore if he was yelling for Alvin and Simon. Alvin, Simon, Theodore. Dude, 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 so for those of you who wondered if you need tire chains, if you need tire chains on this, I really suggest you just quit driving and take up another hobby or something. <laughs> it's not like a, I mean, it's not, it's so too easy guys, too easy. But just remember at nighttime, very important, never forget this, when our temperatures get to the, to the time when it starts to freeze, this stuff that's melting during the daytime and melts onto the street, if it doesn't evaporate, it's going to freeze at night. And so that, those wet spots in the street will become ice at night. And a lot of people who come up here to visit, they don't realize that. And they think it's, it's been a long time since we had a big snow or something. They don't have anything to worry about. That's what you have to worry about. Anyway, I love you guys big time. It's March 4th, 2021. So I know this is kind of stupid. It's at the very end of the video. But um, all of you out there who have any struggles in life or or just anything that you're trying to overcome and you, and you're having a hard time and um you know i'm someone who has been through so much and i've overcome a ton and i think that's why i am so strong today is because of what i've had to face the adversity that i've gone through and come out the other side every time like yeah it took a long time but you know everything that i've struggled with i have overcome and um, I'm always willing to help you guys out. If you have anything, if you have, if you need to like, uh, like, you know, vent some stuff and just talk about what's going on, I'm, I'm here for you guys, okay? I wanna help you. Um, just, uh, just please love yourselves and know that each and every single one of you are so important, so important. And you guys are worth so much, okay? None of you are worthless. Every single one of you is so valuable and have so much to offer this world in your own way. And I just wanna be here to be able to help if I possibly can. 
And look, I'm on that same journey too, guys. We're all here on a process of improving ourselves every single day. Because if, if, if we're nothing, then like, then, then how can we expect to be good for other people if we can't help ourselves and we can't be good to ourselves and love ourselves? And I still struggle with that a lot, you guys, but I want you to know that it is possible. And it's not only possible, like it's, 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 it's your option. It, 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 it's an option, but we choose to go back to what's difficult, believe it or not, because it's, it's been so easy for us. And we've been so accustomed to it that that becomes our safety blanket. Isn't that crazy, you guys? How we go back to the pain when we're in pain because it, it makes us feel safe. It's a, it's a comfortable place, even though it's very unhealthy. So just, just know, man, we all have our struggles and don't feel embarrassed ab about it at all. It's very important that you get out and talk to somebody about it and just, just let it out there and be willing and open to change and to bettering yourself because we only get one shot at this thing, guys. And you know why I've, I've always been like, well, well, what's the point of this thing? What's the point of life? There's just no point. So what's like, why, why try? Why, why, why go the extra mile? This and that it's, it's not going to mean anything. <laughs> it's not like, uh, and then I, I had to force my, force myself to change that thinking. It's like, well, then why do I want to live and suffer during this one chance here? And essentially like sticking my middle finger up and saying like, I told you this, this, there, there's no point to this. See, like, 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 am I really winning? Like by like being like, ha 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 ha. Because first of all, no, I'm not. Cause I'm living a miserable existence and that's all it is, is an existence at that point. You want to live in abundance and have abundance on your mind and wanting to do and have everything that you've ever wanted and have everything for other people do everything for other people too like 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 if if this really is nothing and this is pointless guys then you have a couple choices you can live as if it's pointless and have a miserable miserable life or you can live as if it's pointless and have a fantastic life because either way you're going at the end so why not during this time enjoy it and do the best you can to maximize your happiness um, do what you can to gain more knowledge and education about <clears throat> other things that could bring happiness and joy into your life because the more you know the more you can think about and the more you think about and imagine the more you can manifest into your life so if you have more knowledge and know more things you can bring more into your life like it's it's just that's that's the beautiful thing about it guys it's the law of attraction you know quantum physics you guys I, I, I mean, no one like knows quantum physics exactly, but if you try to get the gist of what is understood, holy moly, it opens up doors in to just to so much more. So all I'm trying to say is, please just do your best to try to live the best life you can because saying screw you to the world, like this is pointless anyway. So haha, -ha, you're all working hard and, and doing all this for nothing and stuff. but. But like while we're struggling paycheck to paycheck and borrowing money and this and that, like, like why not be that other person who's working harder to enjoy this one time that we have here, whether it's pointless or, or not, just enjoy it and love yourself because you guys are worth it. You guys are very worth it, especially to me. And you need to be worth it to yourself. I love you guys a lot. Thank you for everything. I'm about to cry, so I'm going to turn it off. <laughs>